All right, what's up guys and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, I had actually forgotten how refreshing it felt to play with John Marston just because obviously Arthur Morgan is a phenomenal character, you know, but it, it, there was always so much tension and drama throughout the story that we kind of get to settle down a little bit here with John Marston and his farming life. With his wife and kid. And uh, it's a nice little change of pace for a, for a, for a couple of episodes at the very least. Um, right now we are headed to our last mission so far with Abigail Roberts. <sighs> the calm before the storm. How you getting on? Surviving. Fatherhood for idiots. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. His hair's growing. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well. Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered, I'd... I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the. Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get. You take care now. Of course. Drive the wagon to Strawberry. <clears throat> it's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about the only things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Ma. Was wrong about that. What a great game, dude. Hey, I... Wanna take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give him a little switch, and then hold to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Pa! Good. I, I was hoping he would take over. I was already getting tired of it. <sighs> Anyways, I, I say this every single time, but dude, I just look at this game. It, it is perfect. It is perfect. I feel like downloading the entire Red Dead soundtrack. I'm going to like upstate. Look out the look out into the wilderness and just listen to the music. <laughs> That's enough. For now. That game strawberry, eh, hey, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look. 
I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Oh, God. What the hell is going on with you? I forgot that we would come to Strawberry so often. All right. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. Wait here. I won't be long. Okay. Hmm. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston... Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Uh oh. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. Oh no. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> Oh, no. I will help you out. Mm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Pa! Hmm. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Oh, man. Do we get ambushed? I don't remember. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that Look, If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. That was a dumb idea to give our name... All right, speed up. That was a dumb idea to, get, to give our name, uh... Okay. When there was yeah. someone else there in the post office. Faster. Give him a switch. Wow, dude. Faster, please. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Fine. Pull your reins in. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Yeah, we're being watched, you see? While responsible for Jack, you will not be able to use any weapons. Uh, well, that's just fucking great. Yeah. Oh, there's people everywhere in every corner. It's best we get there as fast as possible. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Uh. Where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. Oh my god. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Bro, there's a guy behind us. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Whoa. Oh 
Oh shit. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pod. Hey. Those men. Are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick! Now! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Uh, I don't remember okay, this. Okay, gentlemen. I don't, I don't remember John doing see this. see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Oh, no, not the horse. Jack, you see, I'm your father, and uh, I'm quite of a savage, as you may probably know. I ain't nobody to be fucked with. Oh man, I forgot how crazy John Marston really was. Until now, of course. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. All right, here we go. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> Poor kid, bro. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. This is fast. I wonder what would you guys prefer for another Red Dead Redemption title? Would you Would you want them to go? Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Why you drive like this? What do you want, oh, the next red? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher, boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? <laughs> I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. So what do you guys want the next Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption title to be when Jack is grown up after, after the events of Red Dead Redemption 1 or before the events of Red Dead Redemption 2? This is slow. When John and, and Arthur were Don't young. Say hi to your mother. And and met the uh uh Dutch and, and the gang and whatnot. I wonder How is the Oh. What happened? Yeah. It's I don't We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? 
Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. Uh, <clears throat> it was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Motherhood. Wow. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. All righty. <sighs> We're all settled in, living the ranch life. Everything is good. And part of me kind of wish everything just stayed here. Or does it? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go. Oh, dude. All right, so now we're going to go back to the ranch house until Abigail Roberts. The Sadie Adler. Is here. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. <clears throat> time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? 
She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beatrice Hope. You? A rancher? <laughs> You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Return to work. Morning. Hello. <laughs> Morning. Hello. We were just talking, but let's pretend like we weren't. Ha ha ha. All right. See you later, Mr. Dickens. I think I took the short way, uh, the long way. All right, we'll start all the way over here then. Fuck it. Sheesh. I thought this was going to be the shorter way. But I guess I was wrong. I don't even have a horse. All right, finish putting up the fence. Pick up the fence. I was here? Oh, okay. Fucking John, bro. I wonder how long he worked for. Several months, several weeks. Yeah, probably several, several, several weeks. Maybe even months. Months. Well, there we have. Damn, they were separated for months. Yikes. <laughs> but I have a decent amount of money now. But that's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'm pretty good, uh, Mr. John Marston. Okay, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> I love this, this property, by the way. I'm kind of bummed that Red Dead Redemption Online never made it, uh, or at least I'm not aware. They never made it available to buy houses and properties. That would have been so clutch. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. Alone, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. Oh. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. 
You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. <laughs> That's awesome, bro. <laughs> Survivalist challenge, check your log for more information. We have arrived at Valentine. Tell us your problem. Sorry, partner. If you guys remember, unless I'm mistaken, that corner uh, structure right there was Morgan. actually under construction when we were playing with our, uh, Arthur Morgan. So obviously, a few years have passed. That's been fully constructed. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! Oh, what was that? <sighs> Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston. It's good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <coughs> oh, it's legal. I'm um, usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. How amazing would it you have been? Grant. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Hmm. How amazing would it have been? John Marson buys the ranch. Sadie Adler would have moved in. And Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan and Sadie Adler would have been a perfect couple, man. It would have been the perfect couple, in my opinion. And then you got John Morrison with Abigail Roberts. You got Uncle, the lazy uncle, I guess. And then you got Little Jack. That would have been so fucking awesome, man. But that would have been too perfect. That would have been too perfect. And sadly, too perfect just never, never works. What's it to be? All right. See what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. 
banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit him that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? I'm afraid I don't know. Hmm. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? Uh, no, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Hmm. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Go to the post office and then we'll ask on the general store if need be. What up, partner? Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the welcome center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. All right, welcome center. This is where I was actually gonna go at first, but. There you are. He's staying in the welcome center. What now? You head in there. You uh, you seen a fella? Fella from New York, bald guy. Yeah, a few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk, but he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Hmm. Up in room number three. Well, you just got ratted out, my friend. Room number three, that's room one, two, and three. Let me go to the bath first. Anything in the bath? No, nobody in the bath. Okay. That would have been Mr. quite Kirk. funny. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Open the goddamn door. <laughs> Stop. Hey, that's Nathan Kirk. Oh, God. What? Oh, got him? Oh, shut up. Come on, jump on. Ah! We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Oh, my God. I actually landed on my horse. He went right. Exactly as I was supposed to, I think. Lasso throw there, John Marston. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not 
bad. There is a difference. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. All right. So I wanted to. Now that we're kind of here, hope I'm hoping we're here. Actually, we're not. We're we're still pretty distant. But I I really wanted to go to this guy and see what's the deal. I really want to go to Hamish because he's the guy that we started doing side quests with uh, when we were playing as Arthur Morgan, and I want to see what sort of dialogue developed from this encounter between John Marston and that particular character. Bro, how many people want to kill me today, bro? What the fuck is this? How many people trying to kill me today? How many people trying to kill me? Fucking ambushed. here I'm dying to see what happens bro yep he's still here Her, his his horse is still here <sighs> what happens who might you be a caller John Marston Years ago, a friend of mine helped you retrieve your horse and your leg. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on in. Arthur, wasn't it? That's the one. He, uh, passed soon after that. Ah. Uh, sorry to hear that. I was reading through his journal. Thought I'd pay you a call. <laughs> and I'm grateful for it. It's nice to meet you. He was a kind man to me. Yeah. You want to go out hunting? There's a huge she-wolf that's been stalking me a few nights I've been out. Sure. Why not? Well, first, let's just talk a while, okay? Okay. Man. Sad. Uh, what do you do? Me? I'm a wanderer. I was born further north. Spent a lot of time out west. Funny. <laughs> Never saw myself... The bodies lay so thick, you could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Mm. Please. Hoo-wee! <laughs> what have we here? Yeah. She's right across there. That close. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mm -hmm. she's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. But, uh, I'm Come down on. the wolf. She went around to the left, around the lake. She's down here somewhere. She's not gonna wait around. Wolves shouldn't come so close to people. Mm. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. It's a feeling with which I can sympathize. This ain't a country for wild animals, nor wild men, neither. Not anymore, it seems. You hear that? Yep. Quickly now. This way. Mm. Up there! On the outcrop! You see her? Let's go around it! Okay. Let's, let's just wait. shoot her ass. It's probably gonna have like a, a, a pack of wolves for okay. sure. Trying to set us up or something, I don't know. Damn! I can't see her! 
Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. View loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. <laughs> oh, what, what we got is that? Here? A deer? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Yes, it is. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. Yep. Yep, that was her dinner. Damn. Now, where'd she get to? Hold on. There we go. Yo, look at the fucking bones on that shit. My guess. She's gone somewhere over there. <laughs> There's a whole lot of over there. That's the problem. This way. There she is. All got right. shy all of a sudden. You got some extra miles in you tonight. If we gotta chase her, let's chase her. All right. Come on. I'm here trying to track this wolf. We don't need to do that. We got this. Nobody got to do that. We got Hamish on the job. Damn it. Too slow. It looks like she's headed into the woodland. We're going to have to track her through the scrub. Better to be oh, on foot. Oh, God. Send your horse somewhere safe. Get going, girl. There's a wolf about. I don't even Went know her name there, was Rachel. All right. We got a tracker. Now you want to take the lead or shall I? I'll I'd follow. If you did, that's all right. Okay, I'll track her. Stick to me. All right. Got the trail. This way. Keep behind me. Let's take this slow. Nice and easy. Keep your gun out just in case. Right, straight down that way. I wonder if Hamish dies or something. She could be a half mile in front of us. Or behind that next bush. True. She's gonna jump out at us. Gonna scare the crap out of us. Keep your eyes up, okay? I got mine in the dirt. It's coming. It's trying to sneak right by us. Separated. You're right. If there's one thing I remember about that cave with the cougar when we're playing with Art Arthur Morgan. That one dude that died as soon as we got separated. Yeah, we cannot repeat that process right here. Is that it right there? I oh, think we're close. That's the wolf right there, right? Hey, a bear. Is that the she wolf? Oh my guess fucking huge. Complete and unconditional. I don't think the wolves would have showed much mercy. That's quite an ambush she led us into. A bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? Where is it? God damn! Over here! Over here! Uh. 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 What? Damn you! Oh. 
Buckhead. You all right? Yeah. Damn. Big son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at them. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> they brought us up here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt? Yeah. Guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. <laughs> I won't likely see another like him for some time. I hope I won't <laughs> either. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, man. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. Yeah. I guess there's more missions with them. Huh. Good wolf pelts. If he could speak the stories he'd tell. Cool. All right, Hamish. Take it easy there, partner. Don't become wolf meat. Okay? Or wolf treats. Whatever. Okay. Um, I'll catch you later. So right now, for the very first time, we are headed into an all-new section of the map called Blackwater. Which is huge. Is huge. It's a very important area. And even more important so have you played Red Dead Redemption 1. Super important area. Oh, it's this guy again. Help the blind. Help the blind. Okay. Help a blind man. I'm trying. Okay. Here you are. You're a fool, fiend. But not so much of a fool as you think. Nor such a fiend. The past is done, and the future yet to come. Thank you. I guess. Okay, Missy. All right, well. Good morning, partner. All right, let's go. We gotta go by Babe Ranch. Uh, gotta go to the bank and see if we can get that loan. Welcome to Blackwater, guys. Welcome to Blackwater. Look at that. All these structures that are being built now. In Red Dead Redemption 1, they're all built, which is super cool. All right. So cool how much more life this game has. As opposed to Red Dead Redemption 1. Don't be like Congress. Don't use this for liquor, all right? <laughs> Uh, you gotta take it. You gotta Thanks, Jin, partner. Ginseng I'm all elixir. Alone, mister. Okay, I'll drink it. <laughs> I'm gonna die all alone with nothing. Nothing to show. Uh, Alright, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. But I, I gotta go, dude. All right, here we are. West Elizabeth. Morning, Bang. partner. Morning, sir. How do you do? Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? 
I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm <laughs> on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Only if it was that easy, buy a property. <laughs> it's not that easy. And it's definitely not that fast. Oh, God. All right, so now we're going to head back to the farm, our farm. And I think he said that it had to be cleared of bandits or whatever it is he said. But it's up here. I love black water. I love the look of it. The open terrain. I probably like it so much because it reminds me of the first Red Dead, which was really awesome. That's a girl. What's going on here? What the frick is this? The bandits, or what was it? That's what I'm freaking talking about. <laughs> That's why I couldn't go. There was a couple of bounty hunters around here. Trying to take my damn head off. Alright, we should be right up here. played Red Dead Redemption 1, you know what this spot here means. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Look at him. Oh no, that's not uncle. Can I help you, friend? <laughs> I'm gonna tell my horse to flee. Yeah, girl. Get out of here, girl. Just in case. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Hmm. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. 
You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys, let's go celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mister. Wow. First time I actually killed them. They took half of the money I had. I had 23 bucks. I gave them $10. I got $13. They were pretty nice about it. I'm trying to keep the high honor and integrity that Arthur Morgan worked so hard for across the board. Ah, it's you, the man huh. with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They <laughs> just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. That's so cool. Feels like in shock with all the paperwork and shit. He's not used to any of this, obviously. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. <laughs> Bull crap. No, for real. Well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> you gonna mount up or what? The beginning of a new life for John Marston. You're a good filly. Follow me. Features hope. This is awesome. Ah. Where are we headed? West. West. Oh God, I ain't even man a few words. Oh God, wait, bro, I'm going. It'd be nice if you didn't run all the way. You was about to say. West. Oh God, I ain't even man a few words. I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, 
Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Look at how beautiful this place is, bro. Just picked up Uncle. He's already talking smack. This dude, bro. What a guy. Alright, here's the main entrance. Ah, oh, the memories. Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. <laughs> there goes Uncle. Just drinking his pain away. And doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> gotta be proud for John though he's made uh, some massive improvement I think Arthur would have been proud he tried to do the right thing Epilogue part two features hope he really tried to do the right thing I mean if not Arthur's death would have been for nothing right at our freaking hair already all right so guys we're gonna end this here um we bought a new house we bought some new property we are now uh in debt with the bank but that's okay people nowadays are afraid of debt you shouldn't be afraid of debt just use it wisely i don't know how wisely you were able to use it back in the uh early 1900s but today you can anyways i love this game i love it thank you guys for tuning back we're going to quit the video here, and uh, we will resume shortly. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop it a like, and I'll catch you on the next one.